Since the angel Gabriel culminated a series of divine messages to the Prophet Muhammad from 609 to 632 CE, the Quran was created becoming an ultimate source of truth for thousands of Muslims across the globe. From then on, Muslims believed that the Quran was orally revealed and created by God to Muhammad and that God sent him as a final prophet to bring people back to the one true religion, which involves the worship of and submission to a single and all-powerful God. According to the Muslim tradition, the Prophet Muhammad received the revelations that formed the Quran, which is the scripture of Islam, between the years 610 and 632 in a cave on Mount Hira, near Mecca and Medina. The Quran was traditionally written in the Eastern Arabian dialect of Classical Arabic. Ironically, Muhammad would have spoken the Western dialect of Classical Arabic originating from Mecca. So, there is already an element of translation inherent in the Quran. The source of truth is much less narrative because it is the written record of the revelations Muhammad received meaning it is not written from the point of view of people, but instead is seen as the actual word from God. The Quran is the central religious text used by Muslims to guide their prayer rituals, worship services, and family. The book is also used during religious ceremonies and rites of passage. For example, a couple may choose to have their reading from the Quran at their wedding. The Quran is a very broad-ranging text but constantly returns to the same reoccurring themes. One is strict monotheism, and the other one is the importance of taking care of those less fortunate than you. The Quran says of the good person, spends his substances, however much he himself may cherish it, upon his near kin, and the orphans, and the needy, and the wayfarer, and the beggars, and for the freeing of human beings from bondage. The five pillars of Islam are the basic acts considered, at least by Sunni Muslims. First is the Shahada, otherwise known as the profession of the faith. There is no God but God, and Muhammad is God's prophet, which is sometimes translated as, there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is Allah's prophet, which tries to make Muslims sound other and ignores the fact that the Arabic word for God, whether you're Christian, Jewish, or Muslim, is Allah. Second, Salat is a ritual prayer five times a day at dawn, noon, afternoon, sunset, and late evening, which are obligatory unless you are ill, haven't hit puberty, or are menstruating. Prayer includes a recitation of the opening chapter of the Quran and is sometimes performed on a small rug or mat used expressly for this purpose. Third, Psalm. A long month fast during the month of Ramadan, in which Muslims do not eat, drink, or smoke cigarettes during daylight hours. Through this temporary deprivation, they renew their awareness of and gratitude for everything God has provided in their lives, including the Quran, which was first revealed during this month. During Ramadan, they share the hunger and thirst of the needy as a reminder of the religious duty to help those less fortunate. Fourth is zakah, where non-poor Muslims are required to give a percentage of their income to the poor. Many rulers and wealthy Muslims build mosques, drinking fountains, hospitals, schools, and other institutions both as a religious duty and to secure the blessings associated with charity. And lastly, hajj, is the pilgrimage to Mecca that Muslims try to fulfill at least once in their lives, provided they are healthy and have enough money. Overall, we find that the Quran text is not a source of truth for us. Although there are some elements of the text that we agree on regarding ethnics, such as the giving of money and the help of those less fortunate than us, we do not agree with those which portray divine power, since all of us are not affiliated with the Islamic faith, as well as the five pillars. <laughs>